What's up, Hyperfast Nation? On this episode of the podcast, I'm going to take a look at the top six mistakes that real estate team leaders make when they are new. You don't want to miss this episode. Stand by for the Hyperfast Asian Show. All right, welcome back to the Hyperfast Agent Show. Thank you for tuning in as always. Please, by the way, if you are listening to this and get value out of it, leave us a review on iTunes or if you're watching on YouTube, leave us a comment. We love the feedback. We love the reviews. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends about you know all the different um, episodes you, you like and just share so that they get value too. Because Carrie and I really want to use this platform to help agents have have better businesses and today i'm going to talk about some of the mistakes the top six mistakes in fact that new team leaders make all right it's it's you know challenging when you make the transition from being a solo agent to a team leader it's a necessary step for most people if you want to get out of um you know having you know having a a, a great job, right? Being self-employed, which is what a solo agent is to to transform into a business. Now there's, there's other ways of course, to build, to build businesses. You don't have to build a team right now. Now with the revolution that's going on in the real estate brokerage industry, you can build a revenue share group. That's a whole nother topic though. But today we're looking at, you know, what, what to avoid when you first make that transition from solo agent to team. All right. Number one is the wrong hire. Okay, a lot of real estate team leaders will make the mistake of hiring other agents first um, because they're they're afraid of the overhead, right? So they want to go bring on more agents and have people that are you know just working on commission only and on splits and this and that. That's the wrong mistake, right? If you're a productive agent closing two or three homes uh, a month, the biggest thing you can do to increase your productivity is go hire an admin, right? Um, There are approximately 25 hours in every, you know, involved in a listing, 40 hours involved in a buy side deal. Many of these hours can be outsourced at, you know, in the 10 to $20 an hour range. So figure out, you know, write your activities down, figure out um, which ones are lower, lower dollar activities, which ones you don't enjoy doing, and then go hire for that position, right? Hire an admin first, hire an inside sales agent first, then go out and you know get your get your agents right your, your buyer's agents right and then start building don't make the mistake of hiring a buyer agent first that's only gonna you know in, increase the administrative load on you right um a lot of people a lot of people make that mistake so don't make that one number two a lot of real estate agents uh or, or you know agents when they're making the transition to team leader they have the wrong value prop right um so you really got to dial in the value prop like what is it specifically that you're going to be offer agents. Okay. Um, you know, if you're giving them, you know, leads, training and support know that, right. If you're not giving them leads, um, and there's, there's like all different types of teams now and some offer leads, some don't, there's different structures, different splits. Right. Um, you know, if, if, but don't, don't overvalue, don't over promise on like the amount of leads you're going to give them. Right. So have the right value proposition dialed in. Like, why do they want to come? Um, and there's all, there's, there's no right or wrong answer. There's some teams that are prospecting based. Like you come here, I'm, I've got this great training. I've got this great collaboration and culture, and I'm going to teach you how to prospect. Um, right. And, and, and a lot of agents will join those teams, even though they're getting less leads than others. So just know your value proposition and make sure you're communicating it because that's going to, um, make people come for the right reasons and reduce the amount of, uh, churn that you have. All right. Number three. No contracts. Uh, some some agents kind of operate on a handshake or an understanding, and well, I get it. Um, you know, we all want to be trust trusting of each other. Uh, it's just better to have things in writing, right? So have have a team contract, whether this is your admin, whether it's your inside sales agent, or whether you're hiring agents. Like, have a contract, have it define you know basic roles, responsibilities, what you're going to provide, what you expect out of them, what the pay is and all different situations, right? Just have everything written out in a contract. Number four, lack of training. All right. Sometimes agents wait too long to hire. They get, they get really busy and then they, they don't invest uh, in setting up the right training for the agents. So 
Um, make sure you have the right training for every role that you bring on, right? For your admins, your ISAs, your, your, your agents, right? Have the right training, have the right, um, you know, especially up front, right? You need to, you need, you need to teach them up front what you need them to do. Uh, and go, going, going hand in hand with that number five is, um, not, not having daily reports. So when, when people first join your team, you need to have them in the habit of giving you a daily report. Uh, this can shift over time to weekly, right? But, but initially I'd say the first 30 to 90 days, you need daily reports. A daily report should say what they got accomplished, what they did not get accomplished, that they wanted to get accomplished. Um, if they had any wins, right? So you can give recognition to that. And then if there's things they need help on, right? If you, if you include those four basic things in daily report, it can just be a simple email. Um, great, right? So, so hold them to that standard, all right? And finally, number uh, six, I think the big, you know, another big mistake that new team leaders make is lack of a future vision, right? You need to, to show them what they're building to. Like, what is the team going to do, right, in terms of team goals? What, what are you going to, you know, have for them, um, you know, as individual goals, right? And if, if your team goals and your individual goals aren't big enough for them to grow into, then people are going to leave you, right, when they outgrow that. Right. So you have to make your vision, you have to make your goals big enough that talented people are going to be excited about it and then, and then they'll stay with you longer. Right. That's why on our team, we've had, you know, we've had people stay seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years even. And, um, you know, it's because Carrie did a really great job of setting big, big goals for them as individuals, as well as the team. All right. So if you're a new team leader, um, you know, listen to this one again, make sure you don't make any of these mistakes. Um, you know, I guarantee you the five, 10 minutes it takes you to listen to this again, would be well worth your time compared to making any one of these mistakes is, you know, these, these mistakes are, you know, will cost you thousands, any, any one of these six mistakes will cost you thousands of dollars. So hope you got a ton of value out of that. Thank you for tuning in. By the way, if you're a real estate agent out there and you want to partner with Carrie Shaw and I at eXp Realty, you get all of our training, all of our coaching for free, learn how to build a team, learn how to build a revenue share group that will pay you right? And help you get off that transaction treadmill. We would be honored to have that conversation. You know, when you partner with us at eXp, you get all the great benefits of being an eXp agent, like plugging into the tech platform, uh, the huge referral network, the low caps, the stock awards, the revenue share opportunity. You get all of that. But by, you know, aligning with us, you also get our coaching, our training, like because we're partnered with you in business. All you need to do to learn how to, you know, how that might look for you is send me a text message. 703-638-4393. Again, if you want to learn more about partnering with Carrie Shaw and I at eXp Really, send me a text at 703-638-4393. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Hyperfast Show. I will see you next time.